Hey friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling blessed and staying in God's presence. And if not, I hope you feel uplifted after today's video. If you're new here, welcome to His Princess Christian Community where we read a chapter of the Bible every day and then discuss it afterwards and in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and it opens the door for more people to join our community. And while you're at it, check out the description box. We got a lot of great stuff in there. So today we're reading Exodus chapter 27, but before we get started, I want to say a prayer if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together here on His Princess Christian Community. Thank you for opening the door for people to join our community, for connecting us and strengthening our bond. Thank you for opening our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and our minds to your word. Thank you for your wisdom, understanding, and clarity as we seek to interpret your word. And thank you for the courage to apply it to our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Exodus chapter 27. Using acacia wood, construct a square altar seven and a half feet wide, seven and a half feet long, and four and a half feet high. Make horns for each of the four corners so that the horns and the altar are all one piece. Overlay the altar with bronze. Make ash buckets, shovels, basins, meat forks, and fire pans all of bronze. Make a bronze grating for it and attach four bronze rings at its four corners. Install the grafting halfway down the side of the altar under the ledge. For carrying the altar, make poles from acacia wood and overlay them with bronze. Insert the poles through the rings on the two sides of the altar. The altar must be hollow, made from planks. Build it just as you were shown on the mountain. Then make the courtyard for the tabernacle enclosed with curtains made of finely woven linen. On the south side, make the curtains 150 feet long. They will be held up by 20 posts set securely in 20 bronze bases. Hang the curtains with silver hooks and rings. Make the curtains the same on the north side. 150 feet of curtains held up by 20 posts set securely in bronze bases. Hang the curtains with silver hooks and rings. The curtains on the west end of the courtyard will be 75 feet long, supported by 10 posts set into 10 bases. The east end of the courtyard, the front, will also be 75 feet, 75 feet long. The courtyard entrance will be on the east end, flanked by two curtains. The curtain on the right side will be 22 and a half feet long, supported by three posts set into three bases. The curtain on the left side will also be 22 and a half feet long, supported by three posts set into three bases. For the entrance to the courtyard, make a curtain that is 30 feet long. Make it from finely woven linen and decorate it with beautiful embroidery in blue, purple, and scarlet thread. Support it with four posts, each secu securely set in its own base. All the posts around the courtyard must have silver rings and hooks and bronze bases. So the entire courtyard will be 150 feet long and 75 feet wide with curtain walls seven and a half feet high, made from finely woven linen. The bases for the post will be made of bronze. All the articles used in the rituals of the tabernacle, including all the tent pegs used to support the tabernacle and the courtyard curtains must be made of bronze. Command the people of Israel to bring you pure oil of pressed olives for the light, to keep the lamps burning continually. The lampstand will stand in the tabernacle in front of the inner curtain that shields the Ark of the Covenant. Aaron and his sons must keep the lamps burning in the Lord's presence all night. This is a permanent law for the people of Israel, and it must be observed from generation to generation. Amen. So what did you think of Exodus chapter 27? I'm interested to hear about it in the comments below. Let me know what your insights or interpretations were on the chapter. Maybe comment your favorite verse or just say hi and let us know that you're part of the community. And if you've been blessed lately, let us know so that we can rejoice with you. And if you need prayer, make sure you're putting that in the comments too so we can pray together as a community. Okay, so Exodus chapter 27 um, starts off with the plans for the altar. And again, I'm so confused about this, how it contrasts with what God said in chapter 20 about um, building, um, having that altar, you know, be natural. Um, if you use stones, use uncut stones. So not having to shape anything. It says do not shape the stones for um, with a tool for that would make it unfit for holy use but however they are shaping the wood um 
and they're making horns for the corners you know all this is just contrast to what was said there so it's just it makes me question a lot of it um just the fact that it's different and I'm wa I want to know why like why did God change his mind about how he wanted it to look um and and maybe that was just a different type of altar um that he was talking about in, in chapter 20 versus this one so um and another thing is I'm reminded that God is being very, very specific in everything that he is detailing out for them to do and to build. And um, a lot of it might also be, you know, making sure that they can follow instructions. You know, God is giving them very detailed instructions for them to follow. And, you know, can you follow these instructions? And again, we have another, um, can, you know, one piece. You know, he wants everything to be made of one piece. That wholeness, that unity is repeated throughout the building of the tabernacle. Um, and then um, you have the courtyard. And again, I'm going to post in the description box, you'll see a link to another YouTube video, which gives you a visual representation of what the tabernacle looks like, um, it, what it would have looked like. Um, they do like CGI rendering or, or whatever it's called, um, where, you know, they show you what it would look like and kind of give you an idea of the size of it and in, in, in each piece, um, what it would look like. Um, so then the next section is the light for the tabernacle. And one thing I wrote to the side is the oil for the lamps was pressed, never crushed. And it reminded me of 2 Corinthians 4.8 um, where it says, um, and that verse is saying that we are pressed on every side but not crushed. And I think it's interesting to note that the, um, the olives for the oil um, were pressed and, and not crushed and that was specific and it says keep the lamps cont um, burning continually and that's the same way that we should be keeping you know the light of Jesus burning always um, we should always be you know refilling and replenishing um, you know with God's word with prayer with praise so that that light that we have for Jesus and for God is always burning bright um, and it's not for just for us to see or not just it, it's to help light our way so that we can you know we have that focus forward and it's also a light to shine for other people so that they can grow closer to God and so that they can get to know God as well um, so this was a permanent law for Aaron and his sons to keep that lamp burning at all times so that is my interpretation of Exodus chapter 27 I'm interested to hear what you have to say about it leave it in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you stay blessed stay in God's presence and have a great rest of your day I love you